Hey guys, welcome. So this is part two to the previous video where I got cut off at the end talking about how to manifest flying saucers over your house. So the idea that reality is within our consciousness. I was talking about a video titled The Power of the Illusion and the idea that we're creating our reality within our consciousness moment to moment. It actually literally exists within our consciousness. I explained this a little bit deeper in the previous video. If you just understand that like literally reality Reality is like a dream like a dream at night it's something that's happening within your consciousness yeah so this is no different you are the infinite self you are source consciousness and when you within your infinite consciousness you are having this dream of being a human being and so this is the secret that we're all energy we're all pure consciousness and this is how we can use the law of attraction to create our reality to manifest abundance through the idea of visualization and focusing on what we prefer and say I have 10 million pounds in my bank account I have 10 million pounds in my bank account I have 10 million pounds in my bank account. You know, this idea of the law of attraction, give it a go, why not? Let's see if it works. Should work eventually. Just take time in this physical, slowed down, third density reality. But the idea is things are speeding up now as we're shifting into fourth density, as we make the shift, particularly through this September month, into the higher dimensions of reality, and which we are beginning to experience, whether you sense it or not. Things are speeding up, consciousness is changing. And so now, more than ever, we can use the law of attraction, the idea of visualization, to visualize like the idea of ships of ET craft appearing over our house and we will shift to that parallel reality. We can literally use the law of attraction to visualize the idea of ET ships appearing in the skies in our reality to create that reality, to create that timeline, to make that timeline split, to make that timeline shift. It's the idea that everything exists within your consciousness, everything exists within my consciousness because we are the same consciousness. Ultimately, we just kind of forgotten that. And so, so we're co-creating ultimately because when we come together on the similar frequencies we co-create a reality and what we've agreed to do on planet earth is all to all together like co-create on this frequency called planet earth and we actually created like this sphere which actually kind of is a symbol of us agreeing to resonate on a similar frequency and experience the similar reality Gaia holds us all in a kind of similar collective frequency that holds us in the same reality but within that reality, we're actually all having our own unique dreams. We're just agreeing to things like reality. We're just agreeing to the idea of trees being a lot around, a lot around on Earth and to co-create this reality. But it's all an illusion. It's all in a dream that we're creating in our consciousness. And when we begin to focus upon something we wish to create in our reality, for example, extraterrestrial contact, we're emitting vibrations into the stratosphere, which is actually our own consciousness. It like like pings out into the depths of our own consciousness and if you imagine that going to infinity and at the edge of infinity is God and obviously it's not quite like like, like, this, like this, this guy with a beard like so, so, so it's at just outside infinity connect, 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 collecting vibrational requests for the law of attraction for what, what, what we want to manifest in our reality but if you kind of imagine that like we're, like we're pinging out vibrational requests whatever we focus upon every or every second we're, sh we're shifting out like billions of vibrational requests to god who's like just sat on the edge of infinity out there like collecting requests if you just imagine that like, like we, we, we dive into like all our vibrations are going out to the edge of the universe to the edge of infinity and the closer we come to the edge of the universe the more we can become just like god <laughs> the longer our beard gets because time accelerates due to time dilation and and um, Einstein's um, time dilation theory so we get a longer beard and that's why we look more like God the further we get out no sorry I'm, I'm just joking guys I'm going on a tangent kind of but um, so this is the idea so we're constantly pinging out vibrations to the edge of the universe and the edge of the universe is constantly pinging them back in the in the reflection in the mirror of what's happening in our reality so 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 I created this somehow vibrationally in the past and um, probably sometime around the time in Peru I decided I wanted to come home and see my family and spend some time in the, in the beautiful Lincolnshire countryside and so, so so but we can also do this by um, by visualizing the idea of ET ships appearing over our house and we create a vibration within our conscious a vibration within our energy field a vibration within ourself that pings out to the edge of creation and where God collects our, our requests to the law of attraction and pings them back to us <laughs> 
in the, in the form of um, what we see around us. Of course, it's not quite like that. It's more um, more mystical and more unknown in some sense, ultimately, like the ultimate nature of what is happening. Can we really understand that? Who knows? But we do know that that the time is around 2023 AD and we are on the verge of extraterrestrial contact and we're created because we know we're creating our reality and so that so for those of us that want to create extraterrestrial contact we can begin to visualize this is one tool we can use it's very powerful because it focuses our consciousness like like just having the intent to want to make extraterrestrial contact is bringing extraterrestrial contact into your reality you know every time we say the words extraterrestrial contact <laughs> <laughs> it is it is beginning to create that reality so so, so visualization visualize the reality you prefer to see just before you go to bed at night just spend a little bit of time just quieting your mind down meditating centering your consciousness and just hold a vision in your mind's eye of a parallel future reality where et contact is occurring and it shall occur in its own perfect timing peace love light Shivai and I'll see you next September and we'll see what has happened. What do you reckon guys between now and next September like disclosure um, Open contact like we're, we're, we're literally on the verge now like like those of us in, in the UFO community and that you know, I, I remember sitting in exopolitics Leeds in um, Leeds like not too far from here 100 miles north of the coast um, exopolitics, the extraterrestrial political movement. We had some of those in the UK, um, organised by a guy called Anthony, Anthony someone, and it was an amazing event in Leeds. And um, yeah, and everyone's like talking about, of course, yeah, yeah, like disclosure next year. I think next year is going to be disclosure, and, and like like this is kind of in in the ufology world, like everyone's like been saying, like I think next year is going to be like disclosure, or this year is going to be disclosure. For, um, for a long time, a long time because I didn't really, even, I didn't get into it at all until like 2007, 2008. But I guess like even before I got into it, but like I guess in like 1999, like everyone was like, yeah, 2000, like 2000 is the year for disclosure, and like going back to the 80s, and like yeah, who knows how long they've been saying like um, this year is going to be the year of disclosure. And but literally. This year or next year could very potentially be the year of disclosure. You know, we're coming so close now, aren't we? It's like getting really, really close. There's a lot of discussion in high places. <laughs> Some very high places. So, on that bombshell, I'll leave you in another now and see you next September after open contact. Shivai.